The first thing overlooked by most everyone is the matter of basic word definitions in the Hebrew and Greek scriptures. If you don't get these right, then modern translations can be used to throw bias into the picture before you even consider what to do with the scriptures. Let's start with husband and wife. There is no word in either the Hebrew or the Greek scriptures for husband or wife. Period. The word is man or woman. Period. In the case of a marriage, the result of the marriage is that a man has a woman and a woman has a man. Plain and simple. In Hebrew or in Greek. Whenever you see husband or wife in modern translations, it is the translator taking the liberty of deciding for himself whether the woman or man in question had been married, so that he then translates it husband or wife instead, based on that assumption. This might seem like an unimportant or trivial point, but I will show you that it, it can make a profound difference in how you read some texts of Scripture that apply to the subject of marriage. So much so that those Scriptures end up saying something completely different than what the modern theologians are debating about such that it pulls the rug out from under the whole debate and makes the debate moot. I'm not objecting to the use of the modern term husband or wife either. English is based mostly on Latin roots, and Latin had words for husband and wife, virum and uxorum, as do many other languages. Also, talking about a man's woman or a woman's man semantically means something different in English, especially in colloquial speech. But for biblical discussion, we must use the biblical terms, and you will see why.